Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our second example of how to use composite plates in order to find the center mass of this strange contraption. Let's say this is a thin plate, a certain thickness, uniform in thickness, uniform in density, so we can use area to find the center of mass. The objective is to find the center mass of this particular object, cm equals question mark. What we need to do is somehow divide it into shapes for which we can very easily find the center mass of. If we draw a line straight down in this direction, and then we draw a line straight across from there to here, notice we have now changed the strange shape and divided into two triangles and a rectangle. And it's relatively easy to find the center mass of triangles and rectangles. Remember, with triangles, the center mass is always one-third from the base up and one-third from the base up in this direction. So for the y direction would be one-third the distance from zero to eight, and the x direction would be one-third the distance from three to zero. Let's go and try to find that. So the center mass of this triangle would be about here. The center mass of this triangle would be about here. The center mass of the rectangle would be about there. Let's call this object number one, number two, and number three. And remember to find the x and y coordinates of the center mass. The x coordinate is equal to the sum of all the x coordinates of the center mass of each individual piece multiplied times the area of each individual piece divided by the sum of all the areas. And that would be from i equals 1 to n and from i equals 1 to n. So we need to find the center coordinates of the center mass of each piece and the area of each piece, and then we can find the center mass in the x, the x coordinate of the center mass, and we do the same for the y coordinate of the center mass. The y coordinate is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of all the y coordinates of the center mass of each individual piece times the area of each piece divided by the sum from i equals 1 to n of all the areas. Basically, we just multiply the x coordinate of the center mass of each piece times the area of each piece and divide it and sum them all up and then divide it by the sum of all the areas. For the x coordinate, that is equal to, for the first one, notice it would be two thirds the distance from there to there or one third the distance from there to there in the x direction. Since this is three meters, two thirds the distance would be two meters. That would be two times the area, which is half the base times the height. So it would be one half the base, which is 3, and the height, which is 8. And that would be for the first uh, rectangle, plus in the x direction, the center mass would be one-third the distance from the base to the height. This is from 3 to 9, one-third the distance. Notice that this is distance of 6. One-third of 6 is 2. Add 2 to 3, that would be 5. So 5 would be the x-coordinate of the center mass of the second triangle. And we multiply that times the area, which would be 1 half, times the base, which would be 6, times the height would be from 5 to 8, which is 3. And finally, we have a rectangle. So the x-coordinate of the center mass of the rectangle would be right halfway between 3 and 9. That would be um, 5, would be 5, or 6, no, 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. And 6 plus 3 is 9, so it would be 6. And the area of the rectangle would be the width and the height, so it would be 6 times 5, 6 times 5, which is 30. We take the whole thing and we divide it by the areas, which would be uh, 1 half times 3 times 8 plus 1 half times 6 times 3 and plus uh, that would be 6 times 5 five. We're simply adding up all the areas. Let's simplify this and see what we get. The one half and the two cancels out, that's 24 plus one half times six is three, three times three is nine times five is 45 plus six times six is 36 times five. Well, let's see, that's 30 times six is 180. 180 and divide the whole thing by 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, and 6 times 5 is 30. So in the numerator, we get 180 plus 60 is 240, that's 249, divided by 42 plus 9 is 51, 
And let's get a calculator for that. 249 divided by 51 equals 4.88. 4.88, and that would be meters, and that is the x-coordinate of the center mass of this strange-shaped object. Now we do the same for the y-coordinate. In the y-direction, it'll be one-third the distance from the base to the height. It would be one-third times eight, or eight over three, times the area. Now the area, we already have the area. That would be an area of 12, plus the y-coordinate of the center mass of the second triangle. Notice it would be one-third the distance from five to eight. That would be six. Added that to five, that would be, um, oh, I guess I gave it away already. It's one plus five, which is six. Multiply times the area for the second triangle, which is nine. And finally, the y-coordinate of this rectangle would be halfway from zero to five. That's two and a half. So plus five over two. Multiply times the area, that would be an area of 30. And divide the whole thing by the total area, which would be the same as the first time, 51. So second time around, it's a little bit faster and easier. Simplifying this, 3 goes in 12 four times. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus, that would be 54. And plus 15 times 5, which is 75, all divided by 51. And so we get 32 plus 54 plus 75. That's 161 divided by 51. And finally, divide by 51 equals 3.16, 3.16 meters, which is the y-coordinate of the center mass of this plate, of this composite plate. Now, if you want to write the center mass, the x and y-coordinates of the center mass is therefore equal to, in the x-direction, 4.88 meters, and in the y-direction, 3.16 meters and that's how that's done again find a way to slice up your object into recognizable easily objects that can easily be used to find the x and y coordinates for the center mass of those objects then you go to the process to add them all up again multiply the the x and y coordinates of the center mass of each individual piece times the area add them all up divide by the, all the areas and you get the coordinates of the center mass that's how it's done.